Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In physics and chemistry, specifically in nuclear magnetic resonance, NMR, magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, and electron spin resonance, ESR, the block equations are a set of macroscopic equations that are used to calculate the nuclear magnetization M equals MX, my MZ, as a function of time when relaxation times T1 and T2 are present. These are phenomenological equations that were introduced by Felix Bloch in 1946. Sometimes they are called the equations of motion of nuclear magnetization. They are analogous to the Maxwell Bloch equations. In the laboratory, stationary frame of reference let M T equals MX T my T MZ T be the nuclear magnetization. Then the Bloch equations read dmx t dt equals gamma m t times bt x minus mx t t2 dmy t dt equals gamma m t times bt y minus my t t2 dmz t dt equals gamma m t times bt z minus mz t minus m0 t1 where gamma is the gyromagnetic ratio and b t equals bx t by t b0 plus Delta BZT is the magnetic field experienced by the nuclei. The Z component of the magnetic field B is sometimes composed of two terms. One, B0, is constant in time. The other one, Delta BZT, may be time-dependent. It is present in magnetic resonance imaging and helps with the spatial decoding of the NMR signal. M, T, times B, T, is the cross-product of these two vectors. M0 is the steady state nuclear magnetization, that is, for example, when T infinity, it is in the Z direction. Physical background with no relaxation, that is both T1 and T2 infinity. The above equation simplified to dmx T dt equals gamma M T times B T X dm y T dt equals gamma M T times B T Y dm Z T dt equals gamma M T times B T Z or in vector notation dm t dt equals gamma and t times bt. This is the equation for Larmor precession of the nuclear magnetization m in an external magnetic field b. The relaxation terms minus m x t2 minus m y t2 minus m z minus m0 t1 represent an established physical process of transverse and longitudinal relaxation of nuclear magnetization m. As macroscopic equations, these equations are not microscopic. They do not describe the equation of motion of individual nuclear magnetic moments. Those are governed and described by laws of quantum mechanics. Block equations are macroscopic. They describe the equations of motion of macroscopic nuclear magnetization that can be obtained by summing up all nuclear magnetic moment in the sample. Alternative forms opening the vector product brackets in the block equations leads to dmx t dt equals gamma myt bzt minus mzt byt minus mx t t2 dmy t dt equals gamma mzt bx t minus mx t bzt minus my t t2 dmz t dt equals gamma mx t byt minus my t bx t minus mzt Minus M0 T1, the above form, is further simplified assuming MXY equals MX plus IMY and BXY equals BX plus IBY where I equals square root minus 1. After some algebra, 1 obtains DMXY T DT equals minus I gamma MXY T BZ T minus MZ T BXY T minus M XY T T2 DMZ T DT equals I gamma 2 mxy t bxy t minus mxy t bxy t minus mz t minus m0 t1 where mxy equals mx minus imy is the complex conjugate of mxy. The real and imaginary parts of mxy correspond to mx and my respectively. mxy is sometimes called transverse nuclear magnetization. Matrix form the block equations can be recast in matrix vector notation. DDT MXM YMZ equals minus 1 T2 gamma BZ minus gamma BY minus gamma BZ minus 1 T2 gamma BX gamma BY minus gamma BX minus 1 T1 MXM YMZ plus 
0m0t1. In a rotating frame of reference, in a rotating frame of reference, it is easier to understand the behavior of the nuclear magnetization m. This is the motivation. Solution of block equations with T1, T2 infinity assume that at T equals zero, the transverse nuclear magnetization of XY, zero, experiences a constant magnetic field B, T equals zero, zero, B zero. B zero is positive. There are no longitudinal and transverse relaxations. That is T1 and T2 infinity. Then the block equations are simplified to DMXY, T, dt equals minus i gamma mxy, t, b0, dmz, t, dt equals 0. These are two, not coupled, linear differential equations. Their solution is mxy, t, equals mxy, 0, e minus i gamma b0, t, mz, t, equals m0 equals const. Thus the transverse magnetization, mxy, rotates around the z-axis with angular frequency omega-0 equals gamma-b-0 in clockwise direction. This is due to the negative sign in the exponent. The longitudinal magnetization, mz, remains constant in time. This is also how the transverse magnetization appears to an observer in the laboratory frame of reference, that is, to a stationary observer. mxyt is translated in the following way into observable quantities of mx, t, and my t since mxyt equals mxy zero, e minus i gamma b zero t equals mxy zero, cosine omega zero t, minus i sine omega zero t. Then mx t equals re mxy t equals mxy zero, cosine omega zero t, my t equals i mxy t equals minus mxy zero, sin omega zero t, where re, z, and m, z, are functions that return the real and imaginary part of complex number z. In this calculation, it was assumed that mxy0 is a real number. Transformation to rotating frame of reference this is the conclusion of the previous section. In a constant magnetic field B0 along z-axis, the transverse magnetization mxy rotates around this axis in clockwise direction with angular frequency omega0. If the observer were rotating around the same axis in clockwise direction with angular frequency omega, mxy would appear to her or him rotating with angular frequency omega zero omega. Specifically, if the observer were rotating around the same axis in clockwise direction with angular frequency omega zero, the transverse magnetization mxy would appear to her or him stationary. This can be expressed mathematically in the following way. Let x, y, z, the Cartesian coordinate system of the laboratory or stationary frame of reference and x, y, z equals x, y, z be a Cartesian coordinate system that is rotating around the z-axis of the laboratory frame of reference with angular frequency omega. This is called the rotating frame of reference. Physical variables in this frame of reference will be denoted by a prime. Obviously, mz, t equals mz, t. What is mx, y, t? Expressing the argument at the beginning of this section in a mathematical way. mxy t equals e plus i omega t m x y t. Equation of motion of transverse magnetization in. Rotating frame of reference, what is the equation of motion of mxy t dm x y t dt equals d mxy t e plus i omega t dt equals e plus i omega t dm x y t dt plus i omega e plus i omega t m x y t equals e plus i omega t d m x y t dt plus i omega m x y t substitute from the block equation in laboratory frame of reference d m x y t dt equals e plus i omega t minus i gamma m x y t b z t minus m z t b x y t minus m x y t t two plus i omega m x y T equals minus i gamma mxy t e plus i omega t b z t minus m z t b x y t e plus i omega t minus m x y t e plus i omega t t two plus i omega m x y t equals minus i gamma m x y t b z t minus m z t b x y t plus i omega m x y t minus m x y t 
T2, but by assumption in the previous section. BZ. T equals BZ. T equals B0 plus delta BZ. T and MZ. T equals MZ. T. Substituting into the equation above, DMXY. T DT equals minus I gamma. MXY. T. B0 plus delta BZ. T. Minus MZ. T BXY. T. Plus I omega MXY. T. Minus MXY. T. T2 equals minus I gamma. B0. MXY. T minus I gamma delta BZ T MXY T plus I gamma BXY T MZ T plus I omega MXY T minus MXY T T2 equals I omega minus omega zero MXY T minus I gamma delta BZ T MXY T plus I gamma BXY T MZ T minus MXY T, T2, this is the meaning of terms on the right-hand side of this equation. I omega, omega zero, MXY. T is the Larmor term in the frame of reference rotating with angular frequency omega. Note that it becomes zero when omega equals omega zero. The gamma delta BZ T MXY. T term describes the effect of magnetic field inhomogeneity as expressed by delta BZ T on the transverse nuclear magnetization. It is used to explain T2 star. It is also the term that is behind MRI. It is generated by the gradient coil system. The I gamma BXY. T MZ T describes the effect of RF field, the BXY, T factor, on nuclear magnetization. For an example, see below. MXY T slash T2 describes the loss of coherency of transverse magnetization. Similarly, the equation of motion of MZ in the rotating frame of reference is DMZ. T, DT equals I gamma 2, MXY. T, BXY. T, minus MXY. T, BXY. T, minus MZ minus M0, T one time independent form of the equations in the rotating frame of reference when the external field has the form. BX, T, equals B1 cosine omega T, BY, T, equals minus B1 sine omega T B Z, T equals B0 we define. Epsilon equals gamma B1 and delta equals gamma B0 minus omega and get in the matrix vector notation DDT, MX M Y M Z equals minus 1 T2 delta minus epsilon minus delta minus 1 T2 epsilon minus epsilon minus epsilon minus 1 T1. MX M Y M Z plus 0, 0, M, 0, T1. Simple solutions relaxation of. Transverse nuclear magnetization, MXY, assume that the nuclear magnetization is exposed to constant external magnetic field in the Z direction, BZ. T equals BZ, T equals B0. Thus, omega 0 equals gamma B0 and delta BZ, T equals 0. There is no RF, that is BXY equals 0. The rotating frame of reference rotates with an angular frequency omega equals omega zero. Then in the rotating frame of reference, the equation of motion for the transverse nuclear magnetization, mxy, t simplifies to dmxy, t, dt equals minus mxy, t2, this is a linear ordinary differential equation, and its solution is mxy, t equals mxy, zero, e minus t slash t2, where mxy, zero is the transverse nuclear magnetization in the rotating frame at time t equals zero. This is the initial condition for the differential equation. Note that when the rotating frame of reference rotates exactly at the Larmor frequency, this is the physical meaning of the above assumption omega equals omega zero, the vector of transverse nuclear magnetization, mxy, t, appears to be stationary. Relaxation of longitudinal nuclear magnetization, MZ, assume that the nuclear magnetization is exposed to constant external magnetic field in the Z direction, BZ. T equals BZ, T equals B0. Thus, omega 0 equals gamma B0 and delta BZ, T equals 0. There is no RF, that is BXY equals 0. The rotating frame of reference rotates with an angular frequency, omega equals omega 0. Then in the rotating frame of reference, the equation of motion for the longitudinal nuclear magnetization, mz, t, simplifies to dmz, t, dt equals minus mz, t, minus mz, 
EQT1. This is a linear ordinary differential equation, and its solution is mz t equals mz eq minus mz eq minus mz0 e minus t slash t1, where mz0 is the longitudinal nuclear magnetization in the rotating frame at time t equals 0. This is the initial condition for the differential equation. 90 and 180 degrees RF pulses assume that Nuclear magnetization is exposed to constant external magnetic field in Z direction BZ. T equals BZ, T equals B0. Thus, omega 0 equals gamma B0 and delta BZ, T equals 0. At T equals 0, an RF pulse of constant amplitude and frequency omega 0 is applied. That is BXY, T equals BXY is constant. Duration of this pulse is tau. The rotating frame of reference rotates with an angular frequency omega equals omega zero, t1 and t2 infinity. Practically, this means that tau much less than t1 and t2. Then for zero less than or equal to t, less than or equal to tau. dmxy, t, dt equals i gamma bxymz, t, dmz, t, dt equals i gamma 2, mxy, t, bxy minus mxy. TBXY.